Yeah. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, yeah, we're back with another wash and go, and maybe more, whatever is in the title of the video. Because I'm not even going to know the title of the video until after I film this video and edit and all of that. Yes? But before we jump into any of that, go ahead and do what you saw in the intro, go ahead and like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and then go ahead and hit that post notification bell, and that way you are notified every time I post a brand new video. Yes? Because you're going to want to come back and see me after this video. There's 91, 92 videos that you can go back and watch. I have plenty of content on my channel, and we're going to keep rolling the content out. Yes? Okay. So, my hair is already parted in four sections, as you can see. I'm able to run my fingers through my hair, because it is detangled really well and yeah so this is what we're doing and today I am going to be using the mixed chicks coil kink and curl styling cream and it says this rich formula contain conditions with six oils retains moisture promotes growth adds definition for wash and go finger styling two strand twist coils and spirals and it says that it's going to revitalize and uh, Let's see, hydration retention, and all this stuff that's spelled in French or Spanish that I can't pronounce, okay? So this is what it's looking like. And so that is what's going to be happening. And to go over that, I have my Eco Styler Gel, which looks like this. Okay? And, um... Yeah, and I might go over that with Wet Light Extreme, but that's going to be like a backup thing. And if I do, I'm going to tell you that way you know I used all three of the products. But yes, we're going to go to open this up and get a little consistency check. As you can tell, it has a yellow color from what you can see. Hopefully, you can see that good. And we're going to go ahead and pick this up. You see that right there? Uh-huh. It's a little thick. It isn't, it's not as thick as the buttercreams that I use, but it's thick. It smells pretty decent. It smells like mango and fruit. So let's look on how to apply this product. So it says, apply evenly to damp detangled hair. Use fingers to style curls, two strands, his bent two knots, or any other kind of styling technique. Um, so yeah, damp detangled hair. So my hair is damp, but it's not as damp as I would like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my hair with some more water, and then we're going to just jump right into it. So I have my trusty water bottle here. And again, just run your fingers through it. And again, I'm using bigger sections. The way it won't take as long. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start by running this water through. And that's okay. If the water starts slinging everywhere, that's how you know your hair is wet enough. Yes, that's how you know your hair is wet enough. So we're going to take some of that product again. I'm going to start with a little bit like this size amount. And I'm gonna go in like this, okay? All right, and so this is what this is doing. I think I might add a little more. I don't know if, yeah, I'll add a little more. So I'm gonna go in with some more, about the same size amount, maybe a little more the second time. And I'm gonna really attack those roots because you always wanna hit from root to tip and go all the way around, get that back area really good and bring the product down and if you want to you can brush each section before you even start it or you can take like a fine to a wide tooth comb and then just comb the section out that way you don't have all those tangles and stuff as you're trying to run the products through your hair and I think it'll also help with your definition that you get also yes okay so this is what this is looking like so far and I think using that twice is what did better than that first time so this is what it's looking like so far and so now I'm gonna go in with the Eco Styler Gel you already see that before it's the green Eco Styler Gel with um, olive oil so yeah so we're gonna go in and put this in the hair because it's thick or thock as I would say well, I'm doing this, um, how's everybody doing? You know, I haven't seen y'all in some time. And now I'm back. So, you know, what's going on? You know, hope everybody enjoyed their 4th of July, which was like eight days ago. You know, hope everybody's working and living their best life, going to the beach. You know, 
Hope nobody's going through breakdown. The Olympics are on the 23rd, and I will be tuning in to watch Simone Biles. Yes? Okay. So, I have the wetline, I mean, not wetline extreme, the Eco Styler gel in here on top of the mixed chicks. And, you know, I'm going to keep it real. It's been weeks, maybe even like two months. Since I bought this mixed chicks um, styling product, but I didn't want to use it. I, I just didn't want to use it. It just seemed raggedy. But I said, "Well, I'm have to use it eventually, and we'll see if it's raggedy or if it's like the bomb." Yes. Okay. All right. So this is how this section is looking. And so now I'm just gonna move to the second section. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this section down with some more water. Okay. So again, just running my fingers through it. And so now I'm getting ready to go with some more of the product. So I'm gonna use a bigger amount this time. That way I won't have to go back in twice. Okay. And again, I'm just making sure that I'm hitting all the areas, all the key areas of my hair. Making sure I hit these little back sections that are starting to grow up more. Okay. You know? And just try to make sure that the product is evenly distributed as best as you can. So we have this here. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some more of the Eco Styler gel. Because I like hold, you know? Definition and hold are the main two things that you want to look for in any wash and go. At least for me, you know? And that's why I prefer the products to weigh my hair down. Because the heavier the products, the longer that the wash and go will last, at least for me, you know? Alright, so now that I've talked through that first part of the video where I did these two back sections of my hair, which are now done, I'm going to go ahead and take care of these two front sections off camera, and then when I come back, show you how my hair looked wet when I come back, and then I'm going to go dry my hair off camera, and then I'm going to show you how it looks dried, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts and my final opinions on the products. Okay, y'all, so I am back, and I'm back after I've dried my hair and everything like that. Did a few edges, yes? Okay, so first we're going to cut to the B-roll of the wet hair. That way you can see that it turned out good, and I did not need the Wetline Extreme Gel to get this definition. I just only used the two products that I originally said I was going to use. And so now we're going to cut to the dry hair finish, where you can see that it is defined, it dry defined, it's soft. I picked it out at the roots for a little more volume, even though I'll get more volume over the days. And yeah, I really think that the products did really good for what they were. So again, I used the Mixed Chicks Coil Kink and Curl Styling Cream, which I was hesitant to use for quite a few weeks, but this is what it looks like. And you can actually find this product at Walmart. And um, I used the Green Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil kind. And you can also find this at Walmart, your local beauty supply store. Any type of store that sells hair gel, pretty much. And yeah, so if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like this video. And then go ahead and turn on your post notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post a brand new video. Because you're going to want to come back. And if you made it to the end, leave an emoji of some sort. Let's see. Um, leave a horse in the comment section emoji if you made it to the end of the video. Yes? Okay. So um, I'll catch y'all in the next one.